Unclogging the meibomian glands and reducing the obstruction that occurs with meibomian gland dysfunction is very important to your long-term care if you have dry eye syndrome caused by meibomian gland dysfunction. Unclogging the glands in my clinical experience helps with the signs and the symptoms of dry eye disease. There are a number of procedures available to unclog your glands, and the one offered to you will vary depending on the one your optometrist or ophthalmologist carries in their office. So in today's video, I'm comparing the common procedures and their pros and cons, as well as giving you some insight as to what to expect if you're having thermal expression done. Welcome to Eye School with Dr. D, where my goal is to arm you with the knowledge you need to take control of your eye health and have the best vision possible. Like and subscribe for videos every week. This is Eye School with me, Dr. D, where I teach you about products and treatments related to dry eye syndrome and eye beauty. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you enjoy my videos as I do publish weekly. Eye care providers have known for some time about the association between meibomian gland dysfunction and dry eye syndrome. Throughout the 90s, the belief was that dry eye was the result of not producing enough tears, or what we would call an aqueous issue. If you had dry eye back then, you know that our most common recommendation was to try artificial tears. However, that thinking really started to shift in the 2000s, and the DOOS MGD report came out in 2010. This is about when I started practicing, and I remember thinking that MGD, or meibomian gland dysfunction, was truly the biggest cause of dry eye disease. Now we understand that MGD is implicated in 86% of dry eye syndrome. We also know that the obstruction doesn't clear itself, and daily hot compresses at home are just not enough. Thankfully, there have been a number of innovations that have come to market to address the issue of blocked meibomian glands. We now have light therapies like IPL and low-level light therapy. We have radio frequency and thermal expression. Thermal expression is the idea of heating the glands in a clinic setting and then expressing or milking those glands to get as much backed up oil out of them as possible. For a primer on the meibomian glands and their importance, check out my MGD video here. There are a number of heat plus expression devices your doctor may offer you, and I would tell you that ultimately, some thermal expression is better than none. Your doctor likely chose their particular device based on a mix of qualities, ease of use, integration into a busy clinic, cost to himself and you, etc. But if your doctor is offering them, that's a really good sign. So if you're visiting a dry eye doctor that is recommending one of these thermal expression therapies, you are undoubtedly seeing a doctor on top of his or her game offering the latest and greatest in dry eye care. So first we're going to talk about Lipiflo. Lipiflo was developed first and has the longest time on the market as a thermal pulsation device. Lipiflo thermal pulsation system is FDA approved and it consists of an activator and a console. So the activator is disposable. These are disposables that go on your eye and that would only be used for your procedure. The activator is designed to vault over your cornea. It is applied directly into your eye, but it vaults over your cornea. And aside from having to do an initial drop of topical anesthetic like preparacaine, no other medications are needed throughout your procedure. The entire procedure lasts for two cycles, which is 12 minutes total. Both eyes are treated at the same time. Um, the first cycle is composed of four minutes of heat at 42.5 degrees Celsius, and then that heat is maintained throughout the entire 12 minute procedure. So once it gets to the therapeutic temperature, the pressure sensors activate and apply 5.2 PSIs of pressure to the meibomian glands. The cycle repeats once more for a total of 12 minutes. One single Lipiflow procedure is equally efficient as warm compresses applied twice a day for three months in improving your symptoms and the function of your meibomian glands, and the results have been proven to be sustained for about 12 months after having just one treatment. The procedure also increases soft contact lens tolerance um, by an additional four hours in patients with concurrent meibomian gland dysfunction and dry eye disease. There are some pros and cons to Lipiflow, and I'll throw those over here. 
The pros would be that it heats and expresses at once. There's some cons, which would be no doctor control of expression. You can't adjust the temperature. It does heat the back side of the eyelids, which is a, a pro, but not great for small eye openings. It's automated and the heat and pressure are calibrated. So I'll throw the pros and cons up. Next up, we have Tear Care. Tear Care is the device that I personally use. It is a blink assisted warming device that delivers heat to the meibomian glands. There are sterile disposable wearable elements. They're right here. This is what they look like. And they're attached to a small portable heating device. So these are not reusable, this is reusable, these are used, and then these are thrown away after your procedure. Tear Care delivers heat at 45 degrees Celsius to the eyelids for 15 minutes. The heat temperature is adjustable and patients, you can keep your eyes open throughout the entire time having it done. Within three minutes after your eyes have finished heating, we need to get in and clear out your meibomian glands. That's performed manually with a clearance tool, allowing me to spend as much time as is necessary to evacuate your meibomian glands. Each of the four eyelids are compressed individually, one section at a time, and your eye care provider can kind of go back to areas that have more stubborn glands and spend more time on them. When compared with at home, warm compresses twice a day for four weeks, tear care was definitely superior in improving tear breakup time one month after the procedure. A second procedure at six months was found to be beneficial in improving the signs and symptoms of meibomian gland dysfunction and dry eye. Um, their initial results of the Olympia trial, which compared tear care to Lipiflow, showed that 76% of females noted improvement in symptoms after one month, compared to 56% of females who received Lipiflow. Again, I've got some pros and cons. This is the one that I chose. This is not sponsored by them. But this is the one that I have in my clinic. So I like that the temperature is adjustable. Um, that the treatment is customizable. I can spend more time on glands that are stubborn and really get those lids cleaned out. There are some cons. It does take longer than some of the other treatments. And we have outer surface heat only compared to Lipiflow, which heats inside. In theory, that would be a con. However, you know, in the Olympia trial, that didn't seem to matter. It is portable, which is really nice. I can do it in any room of my office. Um, but your doctor has to be pretty good at gland expression and comfortable with doing that procedure. It is good for any eyelid size as well, which is definitely on the pro side of things. So again, Tear Care is the thermal expression treatment I offer in my practice, and so I have some of my expression videos to share with you as well. I did choose this procedure because of the customizability, and I have noticed that the amount of pressure I need to apply varies wildly, not just um, patient to patient, but on um, treatment day as well. So it's easier to express after patients have had IPL. Next up, we have MyboFlow. The Mybo Thermoflow device consists of a small portable console and a handheld tip. This device delivers heat to the outer surface of the eyelids, so sort of similar to tear care, and, but this one is at 42.5 degrees Celsius, which is closer to the Lipoflow temperature. The tear care temperature was higher. So this allows the heat to penetrate to the meibomian glands to soften up the oil. Um, and this temperature is adjustable for patient comfort. So if you got in there and it felt too hot, your doctor or tech could turn it down for you. You do have to use ultrasound gel, which is applied to the heating tip to allow it to move across the eyelids more, more easily. And it gives kind of a gentle massage to the meibomian glands. So this heat treatment is also completed in 12 minutes. Both eyes can be performed at the same time, and afterwards, manual gland evacuation must then be performed, much like the tear care device. Now, I personally do like that because it allows me to spend more time on the areas of your glands that, you know, areas of your lid, the glands that are more impacted. Patients reported immediate symptomatic relief after the procedure and expressibility of the meibomian glands also improved. Retreatment with this device is often necessary. The manufacturer recommendation is to have three treatments two weeks apart. Some pros and cons, there's no disposables with this device for your doctor, and so the cost could be lower. The treatment is generalized, that's sort of a con. A pro, we have adjustable temperature. 
A con, maybe increased patient visits. You have to come more often for this one. The doctor-directed expression makes it customizable, which in my opinion is a pro. And then it also, though, depends on the doctor's expression capabilities. So that could be a con if your doctor is not quite as skilled at expressing glands. And finally, we have the Sustain Ilux. The Ilux Meibomian Gland Treatment System is FDA approved. It's a handheld warming and a gland clearing device, and it's for the treatment of meibomian gland dysfunction. It applies LED-based heat and pressure to a localized area of each eyelid. A sterile disposable tip makes direct contact with the inner and outer surfaces of the eyelid, and the device maintains a temperature of 38 to 40 degrees, 42 degrees Celsius. So this is a little bit on the cooler side as compared to the three other heating treatments. The treatment does take about 8 to 12 minutes total. Meibomian glands that are difficult to express can be retreated, and the device allows your doctor to directly visualize the glands being expressed for target areas. Tear breakup time and expressibility of the glands has been shown to improve within four weeks, and treatment with Ilux has been shown to be non-inferior to the Lipiflow system. So pros with this one, you can adjust the temperature, you can retreat areas that are stubborn, some cons, it can be difficult to maneuver around the lids. There's outer surface heat only. But another pro is that it's not limited by your actual eye size. So if you have a smaller eye, this can still be done. This treatment I would put in the somewhat customized category. It's not you know, as customized as tear care or Mibaflow. So those are the four main thermal expression therapies out there today. I did run across another one from OcuSoft that I chose not to include in today's video. I'm not sure what the market penetration for that device has been, although there will certainly be others that come to market soon enough. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had thermal expression done or even if you've had more than one of these procedures done. I'd love to hear your experience and which one worked the best for you. That is it for today's lesson. Class is dismissed. I'll see you next time.